Well, remember the movie The Karate Kid? It inspired thousands of kids to give martial arts a try over the past three and a half decades. But that 1984 classic literally changed the course of one Indiana family's life. Now they have total focus on the 2024 Summer Olympics. Check out Indiana's own Karate Kid. My parents described me as a racehorse. I love being the hardest worker in the room. I am notoriously known for being overly aggressive. That aggressive attitude has served 17-year-old Nolan Miles well over the years. Just take one look at his Team USA Taekwondo page and you'll see championship after championship for this two-time All-American Fishers High School senior. Are we going to be seeing you in the Summer Games in 2024 in France? Hopefully so. That, that's the dream. Is that what you're working up to? Yes. Lofty but attainable goals for this young Hoosier who started taking martial arts classes when he was just five years old after his mom was inspired by the movie The Karate Kid. I was extremely hyper kid, so they wanted to give me something to do. It was something that we got him in to give him that after school activity, to give him that mind and body focus, and never once imagined for him to be have aspirations of going to the Olympics. They ended up finding some really skilled Korean masters that came actually came here from South Korea, so I learned from them for almost 10 years. Do you get nervous when you compete? Always. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. We can't, we yes. can't stand by each other. No. We have to go up the <laughs> yeah, we the <laughs> Nolan's talent level really started to take off, but in order to trade with the best coaches in the country, constant long-distance travel was a necessity. We were putting him on flights every Friday. He was flying out by himself to Virginia to train over a weekend and then flying back on a Sunday night and then redoing it again the next week. But the pandemic brought all that travel, training, and competing to an abrupt halt. It was actually good for me. I think I needed that break. Just maturing a little bit, getting a little bit taller, getting some more weight. Luckily, Nolan had a live-in sparring partner, his 13-year-old brother, Holden, who is also a top Taekwondo national competitor. It really makes it where I can uh, train with someone who's at a higher level than me. But there were times the brotherly training sessions got a little too intense. Once one of us gets over the edge, all the rules just go away. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's MMA style, do whatever you want. There is some blood, but now that they're older, they clean up their own blood. Yeah, that, that yeah. has happened. You could actually rough someone up, but then patch them up later. My uh, other dream that I have for my life is to become a physician. I recently got into the National Society of Future Medical Leaders. So if I said to you, you could put a stethoscope or a gold medal around your neck, which one would you want? I think let's say, let's get both, but it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Now, Nolan is an honor student at Fishers High School. He's going to be a senior this year, and he says his goal is to attend Notre Dame, called it his dream school, and he says he's got a big decision to make in the next few months. That's when Nolan's going to find out if he's been selected to train with the next Olympic Taekwondo team, and if he's chosen guys, he'd have to move out to Colorado mm. to train with the team, and then he'd finish high school out there and then start college out there as well. That's so such a tough choice. Yeah, he, I mean, and the guy, I mean, he is straight A's. So, I mean, so he, he's got the skills to be a physician. And as you see, the skills to, I, I, the funny is I'm doing the interview and I'm like, okay, well, this kid's mild manner. And he starts kicking and I'm like, stand back. You know, I, I mean, loved his mom's philosophy. <laughs> They're old enough. They clean up their own right. blood, which was the philosophy <laughs> at the Lofton house when those three boys hit 13. I was going to say, <laughs> you know, 